Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back. We are starting to cool down after a very warm day, but even now it's not that bad outside. Temperatures sit at 68 with winds out of the east southeast at around 7 miles per hour. Temperatures across south Louisiana are in the 60s and the 70s. 69 in New Iberia and Morgan City, 72 in New Orleans, and then 72 as well in Gonzales. Pretty warm for this hour. Lows for this time of year are typically in the upper 50s. We're actually going to be in the mid 60s, so by the time you head out the door. It's actually going to be somewhat nice and then we continue to warm up mid 80s as we head into the afternoon. So yes, it's going to be warm, just a little bit humid, but it's going to be even warmer by uh, Thursday. And of course, as we head into the weekend, we do start to cool down. It's going to feel like spring as well in more ways than one. Our pollen count will sit in that medium to medium high range, but by Thursday and Friday, notice we start to see those numbers drop off and that's because we're expecting storm as we head into Thursday and then into Friday. Now through Thursday, we're actually going to have a bit of a warming stretch. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s, and then we're looking at the possibility for spotty showers tomorrow. As we head into the second half of the week, our rain chances will begin to increase. Right now, it's looking like Thursday and Friday are going to be the best days for a few storms. And then as we head into the weekend, it's going to be cooler. Temperatures will drop back into the 70s. Not too much happening on the satellite and radar. We are mostly clear, but clouds are quickly moving into our area. Notice though, as we head into the day tomorrow, we'll start to see some more clouds by the afternoon and possibly a spotty shower. Now, if we do see any rain, it's going to be on the lighter side and showers would be brief, so maybe an umbrella would do, but really we're not expecting much. As we head into the evening, those rain chances start to decline and then we look at a nice and dry pattern as we head into Wednesday. It's going to be mostly sunny as well and very warm but that's going to be short lived as we head into Thursday. Our rain chances pick up and that's all ahead of our next cold front. It looks like by noon it will be mostly dry, but heading into the late afternoon and early evening, we'll start to see our rain chances increase and we could at times be dealing with pockets of heavy rain. Once that front does move through our area, we're looking at nice and dry weather. However, a lot of models are showing disagreement. This particular model, the American model has us nice and dry throughout the rest of the weekend, but other models have us looking at multiple rounds of rain. Just make sure to follow along for updates as we continue to watch those models over the coming days. By Saturday afternoon, we're looking at a mostly dry and sunny pattern. It's also going to be a little bit cooler outside, more comfortable. And then as we head into Sunday, we do start to warm up, but still looking at nice and comfortable weather. Same thing on Monday. Rain chances are going to stay pretty low until Thursday. That's when we have the chance for scattered storms continuing into early Friday. After that, though, it looks like a nice and dry pattern as we head into the weekend and then into next week. Tonight, though, temperatures dropping to 64. It's going to be quiet. 85 tomorrow, so we have an even warmer day, but then it really gets warm on Wednesday and Thursday. Temperatures are rising to around 87. Keep your umbrellas ready for Thursday as we look at potential storms. Friday looks to be mostly dry after the morning hour, 77 on Saturday, and then as we head into Sunday and Monday, temperatures return to the 80s. We'll be right back.